How's it going? I'm going to show you how easy it is to mix our Just Add Water pizza dough mixes. And today we're going to do the Neapolitan style pizza dough. First, we're going to take one cup of water and add it to a mixer. You can do this by hand if you want. If you have a mixer, it is nice to use. Either way, it's super simple. You just tear the top of the packaging. We're going to raise our mixing bowl up and start our mixer. And for best results, just slowly add the pizza dough mix into the mixer so the water and the mix incorporate smoothly. We're just going to start dumping this in here like so. Once you've added all the mix to the mixer, we're going to let this mix and knead for about eight minutes. We should have a nice solid ball when we're all done. We are at the eight minute mark. We're going to go ahead and pull this out of the mixer. Just shut it down. It looks perfectly mixed. We're going to split it into two dough balls and I'm going to put it in some plastic containers. You just take your dough out of the mixer. If you're doing this by hand, take it out of the bowl you're working with. If you wanted to, you could use a scale, but we're just going to use our eyes. Those look about equal to me. Now to make a dough ball, you'll feel this, it's a little tacky. That's good, it's the way it should be. We're turning it inside out six or seven times. And what we're doing now is we're trapping some air inside. It really helps it rise. Also, we're looking for a round pizza at the end. And if we get a nice round dough ball, we will have a nice round pizza. So you just stretch like this. If this is a little sticky on your hands, you can put a little water on your hands. It'll help. Okay, we've got two dough balls. We're going to take two containers where it will rise. It helps to put a little bit of olive oil in there just to help the dough ball release later. And if you want, you can spread it to the outside just a little bit. Again, it makes it a little easier depending on your container. Then we simply cover these and in two hours we'll be ready to cook pizza. All right, time for some fun. We are gonna stretch the Neapolitan style pizza dough mix. So what I have here is just some bench flour. It can be all purpose flour right out of your pantry. And you're gonna see me use a lot of it, but it really does help in the process, especially when you're first starting out in trying to stretch this dough. So don't be stingy, don't be afraid of too much, it'll fall off. We put some on the top and we put a bunch down on our surface. And then we're gonna gently remove the pizza dough from our container, whatever it might be. I get asked a lot, how do we make a round pizza? Well, to make a round pizza, you gotta start with something round. Now is the time to do that very gently. Turn this back into something perfectly round. And now we're just gonna press. And the whole goal is to try and preserve the air on that outside edge. So what we're doing is we're building the crust right now before we stretch it out. Almost like you're making a little well in the middle there. Just gently. If you recall, we dumped this upside down so the top is down right now. I wanna bring that back to the top and at the same time some flour will fall off. And now again, we're gonna just build our crust and once you get it to this size, then we're gonna take our hand, kind of cup it like this, and you're gonna stretch and turn, stretch, turn. Trust me, after one or two times, you'll be a pro. Super easy, just like that. Now, a lot of people will use cornmeal or something on the pizza peel to help it slide off. You can see we've used a lot of flour here. I don't like to add anything in addi additional. So we're just gonna pick this dough up, put it right on our pizza peel. And a key now, and a little trick is, make sure that it slides around right now. If that pizza dough slides around right now, it'll slide around later when you're getting ready to put it on the pizza oven. Let's build the classic Neapolitan pizza, the margarita, which was actually invented for the queen of Italy. It's red, green, and white. We're gonna put some urban slicer pizza sauce, 
about four ounces and we're just going to spread that all the way around but we don't want to get on the edge of that crust that we were so careful to protect when we stretch the dough we just want to go right up to it if you get sauce on that edge that edge will fall flat and you won't get that those bubbles and that rise that we're kind of looking for all right i uh prefer to put my basil down first shiny side up and i'll show you why just spread this around here put them evenly on and one in the middle. If you put them down first and then you take your mozzarella and pinch it, you can actually protect that basil from burning. Another option is of course to put the basil on after you cook it. Get creative. You can put toppings on before, during, and after cooks, but here we're putting it on underneath this cheese. With Neapolitan pizzas, a little goes a long way. So I think in this case, we're going to call it just a little bit of salt, drizzle of olive oil. There you have it. We just built our margarita pizza. This thing is ready to go. It doesn't need to rest or anything like that. Today I'm using a pellet grill that is about 700 degrees in here. It's not necessary. You can cook this in your oven as hot as it'll go. But the key is, you know, as hot as uh, the hottest temperature you can get, let's go ahead and use that. So we're just gonna slide it in. Remember, we talked about making sure that pizza moves. Now is the time to do that. This, just a little shake. We're gonna go in here, slide it on to the stone, and the cooking process begins. It's been about a minute. We're gonna take a look. These pizzas cook really quick in a pizza oven like this. You can see we're already getting that rise Oh man, this is going to be amazing. So in this particular cooker, I like to turn it. We're getting a little browning on the back and we're going to put it back in another minute or two. We should be good. All right, it's been another minute. We're just going to take a look. We don't want to overcook it, but we definitely want it done. So you can see we're getting some more color here. This is called leoparding and we want to get that as much as we can all around the crust. We also want to make sure that underneath it's looking done and that's looking pretty good underneath. I would like a little more around this edge, so we're just gonna go another 30 seconds or so. Check on it then. It's been three to four minutes total here. And you can see, oh man, look at that. The mozzarella cheese is perfectly melted. The basil's still green and protected. It hasn't burned. We got leoparding all around. If you take a look at the bottom, that's exactly what you should see. Pizza has some stiffness to it. We're gonna slice this up and eat. My goodness, look at this pizza. Let's cut into it and see what we got. I'm going right here, look at that. Look at that bad boy. That is exactly what you're looking for. Our Neapolitan style, just add water grilling dough mix, did that in two hours unbelievable seriously unbelievable seriously oh man it's so good